What's up, comic book fans? And welcome to Comics Icons. Now, JJ, what they call me. And today, we got more blood, hunt. This time with the Avengers issue number 15. And if you missed the last issue or any other parts of this blood hunt event, then I'll put up a card for you at the top of your screen and a link at the end of the video as well. But when we left off with the last issue, Steve Rogers had put together a backup team of Avengers while the main team deals with Blade and the Blood Coven in the main Blood Hunt series. And this new team consists of Steve Rogers, Hercules, Kate Bishop Hawkeye, Quicksilver, whose sister Wanda is currently held prisoner by Blade, and Hazmat, a former Avengers Academy student with the power to emit radiation. And as they patrolled the streets, they wound up crossing paths with a bunch of hate group vampires on a helicarrier led by the old school villain Baron Blood, filled with innocent civilians. So if Avengers saving civilians, all while taking down Baron Blood and his horde of hate group vampires floating over the city in a shield helicarrier sounds like a damn good time to you, then you already know what time it is. Let's get it. So, the good thing about this issue is that it kicks off getting straight to action. As Baron Blood orders his vampires to leave the human cattle, but go and take out the Avengers. And it's kind of funny when, if you remember the last issue, Cap had revealed his new shield is lined with silver. So when he hurls it at the Baron and he catches it trying to gloat, it burns the absolute hell out of his hand. Meanwhile, Cap tells Hazmat that he's going to draw Baron Blood away from his goons, so they'll become disorganized. And he used the escape capsules of deck below to get the civilians to safety. So Cap takes off and gets the Baron one-on-one, -on -one, while Hazmat fills in Hercules on the plan. And then flexes some major power muscles when she unleashes everything at a swarm of vampires. But it takes a lot out of her, and Hercules is forced to carry her as he smashes through walls trying to create an escape path for civilians, while Quicksilver covers the exit with some speed staking. <laughs> Steve Rogers and Baron Blood's fight though is a classic one, as they cover seemingly every corner of this helicarrier. But you can kind of tell that Cap's not really putting up much of a fight. He's pretty much just on the defense right now, as he continues to get Baron Blood wound up. And you can tell that Cap's focus as he runs away, but with intent and then we pick back up with the civilian rescue as the team starts leading the people onto escape pods and where hazmat wonders if they're over the water right now and maybe the pods wouldn't be the right move kate schools are on these being shield helicarrier pods and they float they're packed with supplies and they carry emergency band transponders she did a science project on a helicarrier back in fourth grade she knows everything about these vessels <laughs> But once the civilians are safe, they call in to Steve to let him know that the mission is complete and they're heading his way. And he replies that now they should easily be able to handle the rest of Baron's vampires, since it really only seems to be a skeleton crew on board. But the Baron laughs at that theory of Caps, that he's only got a skeleton crew on board. Because he's no fool, he tells Cap. He only has as many active troops as he can feed. But I have a host of reserves, and Captain America has shown an entire legion of vampires that are just in stasis at the moment. Then Cap immediately radios back to the team that they've got a problem. The Baron has way more vampires than they thought. And then the team radios back to Cap that that isn't the only problem, as we see that they've stumbled on a whole prison filled with civilians. And they tell Cap that he's also got a lot more prisoners than they thought. And they definitely don't have enough escape pods. But although it looks bleak right now, Cap maintains his resolve that they haven't lost yet, not by a long shot. And he hurls his shield right at Baron Blood, knocking him down from the catwalk that they were on and down to where his vamps are hibernating at. And in turn, the Baron just begins the process of waking them all up. And he tells Cap that he won't be able to fight them all. But to Cap, that's not a threat but a disappointment, he says, that he won't be able to put hands on each and every one of them as he drops a couple of grenades at the Baron and then books it. 
And I can't lie, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Cap got jokes right now. Dropping a dope threat and then bombing and running is hilarious. He's like, yeah, I just wish I could put hands on every last one of y'all. Here, hold this. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of the team is trying to figure out which one of them is going to give a speech to all of these civilians because right now the people are all terrified. And as all of the superpowered people come up with excuses about why public speaking is not their thing, Kate Bishop jumps right in to address the people. She tells them that she knows they're scared and this is tough because she's in the same boat. She's powerless just like the rest of them. But just like them, she's got the Avengers here to help. And whatever it takes, they're going to keep the people safe. Hercules is a god. Quicksilver's fast as all hell. And Hazmat has killed more vamps tonight than the Colonel has chickens. <laughs> Plus, not to mention Cap, who needs no explanation. And then there's Kate herself that's really good at firing sticks. Which just so happens to be a weakness of the vampires. So what do you say, she says to the crowd. Just as we switch back over to Cap and the Baron as he burst into the control room where Cap sat and he's still partially on fire from the grenades. It's time to finish this, he tells Cap. And Cap agrees. He just needed to get ahead of the Baron because he should have known that Cap of all people would know how to pilot a helicarrier. And we see that Cap now has his hands on the controls of this vessel and he yells out to the people on board. That this is your captain speaking. Buckle up. As he makes a big turn, causing Baron Blood to lose balance and start screaming. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the issue. So what did you guys think about this one? I felt like it wasn't really about any, any type of character development or anything deep like that. It was just a fun, destructive issue. And I could rock with that. How about you guys? And are you feeling this blood hunt event at all? And if so, which of these blood hunt tie-ins has been your favorite so far? And are you disappointed that these Avengers aren't doing more with the main Avengers team and trying to take down Blade and rescue Wanda and Thor? You guys know I want to hear all your thoughts and theories regarding this issue and this event. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video and this channel, and you'd like to support the channel, then you can do so by stopping by the Comics Icon store and picking you up some of this merchandise, including the background music heard right here in this video available for download. Or by joining the Iconic Fan Club channel membership, and it'll be a link to join in the description. But with the membership, your voice will be heard during our interactive live streams with yours truly, where we can talk about everything that's been going down in these issues, as well as ones that you'd like for me to go over in the future in other comic book news. Plus, you guys will get loyalty badges, member shout outs, and up to 20% off of Comics Icon's merchandise from the Comics Icon store. And now we've got tiers to the memberships as well, starting at just 99 cents. Or you guys can donate to the channel with a super thanks. And if you're not able to do any of that, then you can still be a tremendous help to the future of this channel by dropping a like, share, and subscribe in the comics icons for more icons in the comic book world. But ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. I'm out. Peace.